The vision of the St. Luke's Medical Center College of Medicine William H. Quasha Memorial is to be global by 2030. And the mission is to graduate healthcare professionals who are clinically competent and ethical, academic and research-oriented, collaborative and patient-centered, socially engaged and compassionate. We have two programs in the college. One is the undergraduate Doctor of Medicine program and the Masters of Science in Molecular Medicine. St. Luke's is my first choice of medical school um, because during the open house that I attended, I was able to see this family-like culture. St. Luke's College of Medicine was pretty young at that time. However, the center was well known for its excellence and we were expecting the same type of excellence as regards to the college. Working as a nurse before entering the college, I've seen how St. Luke's is really geared towards excellence in the medical practice and in healthcare. I entered St. Luke's College of Medicine because I was attracted with the newness of the um, college. And being new, I thought um, the administration will take care of us more and I was right with that decision. Selection criteria for the undergraduate Doctor of Medicine program is an NMAT score of 90 a four-year bachelor's degree. While for the Master of Science in Molecular Medicine, it's preferred that the student has taken the NMAT and has finished a four-year bachelor's of science program. The Luku community is very intimate. There are many uh, people from different walks of life, different beliefs, and with different ambitions, and we're all very diverse. But the most important thing is that everyone's got everyone else's back. The Lucan brand is holistic. When I was in first year, I was given an opportunity to participate in a college pageant. It's an annual event where we get to showcase our talents, proving that we are both beauty and brains. We do have a population of 555 students across all levels, 25% of whom are scholars. I think I learned from the foundations of medicine class the most because it felt like every Friday, even though I was a first year, I was able to tackle things that I would normally only see in the hospital and so it really helped boost my confidence. As early as second year, we have already been exposed to patients. It's been a wonderful experience listening to their stories and interacting with them. It makes us feel closer to the people we want to serve the most. The college offers unique and innovative courses such as basic science and clinical research and clinical integration, which hones us not just as clinicians, but as physician scientists. I also love singing in the choir. The joyful escape I get from it allows me to learn medicine even better. The college actually allows us to do the things that we love despite the demands of medical school. The activity that I enjoy the most is patient endorsement. It's about an hour activity where we endorse to our seniors the patients assigned to us and how they were throughout the day. As a junior intern, I was fortunate enough to observe the consultants, how they interact with the patient, how they care for the patient, how they form these professional relationships with them. And eventually, after my five years stay here in the college, I will be able to imbibe these practices into my future practice as a professional. We have a different learning approach here. We are given ample time to prepare for our exams. That by internship, we are exposed to a variety of cases in St. Luke's Medical Center. We act as mini-residents. We get to see admitted patients, assist in ORs with the best surgeons in the country, and manage social service cases with the guidance of a more senior resident and or a consultant. My education in St. Luke's College of Medicine exposed me to multidisciplinary management and that solidified my plan to further pursue subspecialty, which is now pediatric pulmonology. The experience in St. Luke's really helped me a lot with my work in the field. Um, it made me become an independent thinker. It made me think outside the box and also the most important thing is it made me a resilient person which helped me a lot during my humanitarian work in the different uh, nations in the world. My relationship now with the college is doing great. I'm an active professor teaching pathology. I remind my students not to take medical school too seriously and at the same time to enjoy their other passions outside medical school. 
I think what a lot of people don't see is just how driven Lucans are with regards to their extracurricular. The average Lucan is usually ending their day in practice or doing their art or dancing or singing and there's a lot that we do. And so I feel that the Lucan brand is having a passion to do and pursue what you love and a drive to become the best person that you can be. I have always thought of the Lucan doctor as someone who is humbly confident but teachable. We can learn always from our colleagues and of course our patients. For me, one word to describe the Lucan brand is flexibility. Because here, even though we have a good foundation, still we try to stay up to date. Here at St. Luke's Medical Center College of Medicine, we're not just a community, we are a family. I'm Dr. Susan Pelea Nagtalon, Dean of the College of Medicine. At St. Luke's Medical Center College of Medicine, William H. Quasha Memorial, you have a family.